Source a stock slash yes, Nazamar. Bruising is an educator in the field of distributed ledger technology, KLT, and has been a lead crypto tech analyst for Wise Cryptocurrency Ratings since shortly after their launch. Underscore 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 just last week, a new competitor burst onto the scene, announced that it will, an initiative to develop localized stable coins and digital assets pegged to fiat currencies across the globe. The English language announcement does not mention Libra. Rather, it says that the goal of Venus is to empower developed and developing countries to spur new currencies. But the Chinese language version is more detailed. It explicitly states that Venus aims to be an independent and autonomous, regional version of Libra. Watch the latest reports by Block TV, surprised. Yishaud TV. Since the beginning of the year, Binance has been making inroads into the stablecoin space by building core infrastructure. It launched Binance Chain, the so-called decentralized exchange. It trades most of the currently existing stablecoins. And it has issued a range of new ones, including the BXPEG stablecoin, BX and the Binance BAP BEEP stablecoin pegged to the British pound. The key questions are, can Binance S Venus compete with Facebook S Libra? Does it even have to? Facebook S Libra made a big splash. It seemed to have the ability to easily onboard the social media platform S 2.7 billion users. And it seemed poised to spur a massive wave of broad crypto adoption, reaching a big chunk of the world as population except that is, for one big obstacle, great regulatory uncertainty. In fact, in a report to the SEC, Facebook admits there can be no assurance that Libra or our associated products and services will be made available in a timely manner or at all. Despite more than us 48 billion in cold cash, nearly, employees and a virtual monopoly in its space, Facebook is still beholden to regulators in multiple jurisdictions. Binance's story is somewhat different for three key reasons. First, Binance would rarely be competing with Facebook directly. Facebook and its partners aim to reach the broad consumer marketplace. Binance would most likely onboard users mainly from the cryptocurrency space. Second, Binance has the proven technology and real-time experience in handling cryptocurrency platforms. Facebook doesn't. At least not yet. Third, although Binance's user base is far smaller, it has not been plagued by multiple privacy-based controversies. Nor does it have Facebook as high profile that attracts non-stop and forgiving scrutiny from the public and regulators. Does this mean Binance will slip under the regulatory radar in key jurisdictions? Not quite. Binance will still need regulatory approval from the countries it intends to operate in. A Binance-sponsored stablecoin backed by Eon, for example, would require corresponding fiat reserves and compliance with regulations wherever those reserves are held, probably starting in China and India. Basically, we can TC any way for fiat-pegged stablecoins to work without holding fiat reserves. In fact, it is the dilemma of all stablecoins, as soon as they hold large enough amounts of fiat, those holdings can become a central point of failure, not only as a target for bad actors, but also as a nexus for centralized control by governments. Result, the foundational premise of cryptocurrencies, decentralization, goes out the window. Will this stop corporations from forming consortiums to launch their own corporate coins? No. As soon as regulators provide better clar. You can read full post on cryptophones. News, link available in text below.